Have you heard of the $20 billion Chinese Bridge? Today, we'll talk about this Chinese bridge as well as other mega bridges which shocked American scientists. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel. Also, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and the bell icon to get notifications about our upcoming videos. American culture favors oversized items, and massive buildings are commonplace there. The country is proud of its numerous outstanding bridges, including the renowned Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. However, designers have been constructing enormous bridges, shocking their American rivals with their audacity and creativity. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, or HZMB, the longest sea crossing structure and tunnel system in the world, is the next Chinese mega bridge. It is a huge 55 kilometer long bridge that connects Zhuhai, Macau, and Hong Kong. Before it was created, tourists and visitors going to or from Hong Kong had to board a ferry. The HZMB has reduced the travel time connecting Zhuhai and Hong Kong from 4 hours to just 30 minutes. According to officials, the project was delayed by two years and probably 18 construction employees lost their lives. After nine years of construction, Chinese President Xi Jinping proclaimed it to be finished. The construction team employed over 400,000 tons of steel, enough to make 60 Eiffel Towers to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. The Pearl River Delta is crossed by around 30 kilometers of the bridge's overall length. A 6.7-kilometer piece in the middle, which connects two man-made islands, vanishes into an underwater tunnel to provide room for ships. The remaining portions connect Zhuhai in Hong Kong to the highway bridge through link highways, viaducts, and land tunnels. To keep the bridge in top condition, the government anticipates spending close to $30 million annually on upkeep. Even though the HZMB is fascinating, not everyone can drive on it. You require a specific permit to utilize the bridge, which administrators provide according to a quota system. Even after receiving the priceless permit, there's still a toll to be paid. Since the bridge has not been certified for public transportation, only private shuttle service will operate the routes. A train link was also not included by the planners. And if you ever had the chance to drive over the bridge, be careful because yawn cams are set up to capture drivers yawning. In fact, the police will be notified right away if anyone yawns three times. So before trying to cross, be sure you're arrested. The next one is Arcadico Bridge. Many people believe that the Arcadico Bridge, also known as the Kazarma Bridge, is the world's oldest bridge still in use. It's fascinating to note that this arch bridge, which was constructed between 1300 and 1190 BCE, is still in use by the local populace. The Arcadico Bridge was a section of the road that connected the cities in Tyrans and Epidaurus during the Mycenaean period or the final period of the Greek Bronze Age, which existed from 1600 to 1100 BCE. However, bridge construction has advanced since the Arcadico Bridge, which was quite basic. Bridges now have more functions, are more sophisticated, and cost more money. Let's visit China, where building bridges has developed into enormous and sophisticated architectural achievements that are challenging to surpass everywhere in the world. The Shishui River Bridge, which towers an incredible 350 meters above the river, is the first bridge. The engineers were seriously at risk, even when operating in rocky cars and collapsed zones. Sichuan chose a design that called for using a double tower and single-span suspension for around 1,200 meters of the bridge. But as the design grew increasingly intricate, the business acknowledged that it was the most difficult task they had undertaken in years. Because of the topography, it was challenging to construct a road leading to the site, making the use of large machinery particularly challenging. The team had to decide how to create a system of 158 cables to maintain the bridge deck and how to build the major bridge deck as just a truss offsite and break segments to the canyon. However, Sichuan was sufficient to evade 19 months of building and hours of design work thanks to advanced technologies. In late 2019, the Chishui River Bridge opened. Additionally, the business cut more than $2 million from the budget. This was made possible by their efforts to decrease the earthwork required in the bridge tower base by 30%. The Green Juice Bridge, the first single-span, single-tower suspension bridge in the world, is the next Chinese wonder bridge, connecting the Hunan city of Yuxi and Chuxiang Yi Autonomous Prefecture. The distance traveled will be cut by half. A crucial portion of the 9,000-kilometer Yunnan Highway Network and the 190-kilometer Yuchu Expressway may be found at the Green Juice Bridge. Yunnan is connected to several significant national expressways by the Yuchu Expressway, including the Hangzhou Ruili Expressway and the Guangzhou Kunming Expressway. Aside from these bridges' enormous expanse, the speedy construction is amazing. The construction of the Green Juice Bridge began in 2019, and it was finished in under three years. The Green Bridge is only 798 meters long, so it doesn't set any records. 
but its engineering prowess is what makes it famous. The bridge, which gets its name from LV Zhejiang, hovers over that city. Literally, LV Zhejiang means Green Juice River. The bridge emerges from tunnels that jut out of cliff walls on either side of the valley's V-shaped valley. As the first single tower suspension bridge in history, the Green Juice Bridge is supported by just one tower. Cables are used to secure the ends. This indicates that there aren't any more columns. This gives the bridge the appearance of defying gravity, which may make you question what the engineers' intentions were when they created it. This incredible bridge also holds the title of having the steepest tunnel anchorage in the world, which is tilted at 54 degrees. The fact that the primary supporting features including the 156-meter tall high tower, the bridge approaches on one side, and the tunnel anchorage on the other end had to be built directly into extremely steep slopes complicated the design and construction. The assembly and bridge deck are actually 320 meters apart in height, which is the same as a building with 100 stories. The Green Juice Bridge shines out even among the intricate Chinese bridges. On March 9th, engineers finished installing the final steel box girder, which was a significant development. On the new bridge, which will open in April, the speed restriction is 100 kilometers per hour, but this will simply give drivers more time to take in the spectacular view from the bridge. It seems that Chinese engineers won't construct bridges if they don't set any records. The Yangboshan Bridge, the world's longest bridge taller than 300 meters and with six lanes, is the Asian superpower's next amazing bridge. The deck is significantly higher, rising 360 meters just above the river's actual level and 320 meters over a reservoir. The six lanes of this bridge make it the broadest steel truss suspension bridge ever constructed in China. A unique suspension bridge on stilts, the lower leg of the 186.5 meter tall west tower is 110.7 meters underneath the deck. There are only six additional suspension bridges in the world that use tower piers greater than 100 meters below deck. The majority of them seem to be in China too. They consist of the Tiger Leaping Railway, Sun Shihei, Xing Shuihe, Honghe Bridge, Jianyuan, Dai, Malinghe Finglin, and Xing Shuihe. The 1,112-meter-long Yao Baoshan Grand Bridge is a section of the Guiyang Huangping Highway. It is crucial to the region's economic growth since it cuts the distance between Guiyang and Huangpin from 5 hours to just 1.2 hours by crossing the Duma River. In regions like Xi'anan Prefecture and Xiandongnan Prefecture, Southeast Guangzhou Prefecture's Huangping County serves as the project's final destination after traveling via the Nanming District of Guiyang City, Wudang District, Longli County, Guiding County, and Fuquan City. The Yukai Expressway is connected to the endpoint. The bridge's primary span is 650 meters long. The two main wires constitute the primary support system for the whole bridge, and they were put up utilizing a unique technique that was tested at the location in China as a whole. Each of these cables has 36 through-length stands and weighs roughly 4,600 tons. High-strength galvanized wires are employed. The length of the final wire, when all of the independent steel cable wires were taken apart and joined at the ends, would exceed 26,000 kilometers. The circumference of the Earth is much more than twice as large as this. The heavy objects didn't need to be transported because the wires could be built there and then. Prior to its opening, engineers stress-tested the Yangbaoshan Bridge by parking 48 heavy-loaded vehicles totaling 1,680 tons. So that's all about these bridges. What are your opinions about these bridges? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.